This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. So in that scene, Neo is facing a choice with two possible outcomes. Outcome number one is to pick the red pill and basically saving the world. Outcome number two is to pick the blue pill. And if he does so, we end up slaves forever, which is not very cool. Okay, so two outcomes for Neo. And now let's assume that uh, there is a bug in the Matrix. Uh, do you remember the cat scene? <laughs> Well, we're gonna assume that it's exactly the same. Like, it's gonna be a big bug and we will end up with a repetition five times of the same, exact same scene. Meaning that Morpheus is gonna ask the pill question once, two times, three times, four times, and eventually five times. You take the blue pill. 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 Now we're going to assume something else. We will assume that all these questions and all these answers are independent, meaning that if Neo is answering something for the first question, there is no impact on the second question. And if he's answering something for the second question, there is no impact of that answer on the third question and so on. Okay. Uh, so meaning that all those trials are independent. And if it's the case, you end up with a perfect Bernoulli trial situation. Two outcomes and a repetition of independent events. Now question, uh, because I like to ask myself uh, scary questions. What is the probability that Neo gets zero red pill? Meaning that he's failing all the tests and he's picking the blue pill all the time, okay? So let's try to figure that out. So that probability is p of x equal to zero, okay? Meaning that there is zero success. But to be able to um, figure out that probability, we need what we call the binomial formula. So binomial formula. And we can use that formula because we are in a Bernoulli trial situation. So what is the binomial formula? It's basically saying that the probability to get k successes, okay, is n choose k. So n is the number of repetitions and k is the number of successes. So all those guys are numbers of something, number of... Uh, number of repetitions and number of successes. So n choose k, p, probability of success to the power k, q to the power n minus k. So p is probability of success, q probability of failure. So now we can use that formula in all case, okay? So in all case, it's p of x equal to zero. So I'm just going to replace. So it's going to be n choose k, but in all case, n is five. So n there is five repetitions. So it's five. Choose. So k, but in all case, k is zero because we want the probability to get zero successes. So five choose zero, p, which is the probability of success, which is the probability to get a red peel. p to the power k, but in all case, k is zero. Times q, probability of failure. So q but to the power n, so 5 in our case, number of repetitions. 
So it's that guy minus zero. And we do have the formula we need to answer the question. Now we just need to replace. What is 5 choose 0? So for this, we need another uh, formula called uh, binomial coefficients. So I know it's in tables most of the time, but it's just better if you know it, you know. So let's go. n choose k is equal to factorial n. k factorial n minus k factorial. Okay, so that's a very important one and sneaky one, sneaky one, zero factorial is equal to one. Uh, and it looks weird, but it's uh, a convention basically. Okay, so now I just replace, I just replace there. So five to zero is basically five factorial over zero factorial, five minus zero factorial. Meaning that, so zero factorial is one. Okay, so zero factorial is one there. And five factorial over five minus zero, five factorial. Meaning that this monster there is just one times, so p to the power zero, one times q to the power five minus zero, so q to the power 5. Q is 0 0.4. So I end up with 0 0.4 to the power 5. And this guy, if you use your calculator or uh, if you're very, very smart and you can do it yourself, is equal to 0 0.01. Meaning that the probability that Neo gets zero red peel is 0 0.01. So we are, so it's very, very small and we are really safe.